Hey everyone, this is Allison Watkins from AllisonWatkinsCoaching.com and I'm back for another video and the topic is about self-awareness. Now, for those of you that know me and you've been following my channel for a while, you know that I recently completed a coaching certification and I changed my career and I'm really working more in personal development, which I absolutely love but I'm also helping others determine what does career alignment look like to them and how do you just simply pick a role, a career where you can be more fully yourself. So some of the things I thought I would share with you guys that more and more as I work through the coaching certification myself and I help my clients with is that concept of how do you become more self-aware? And then once you have that information, how do you use it to your advantage to identify the best career for you? And again, that's all about what I love is career alignment. So some of the things I would say about awareness, really early on when I started working on, like what do I wanna do next in my career? I noticed that I'm most productive in a work environment when I'm able to connect with someone and help someone on a one-on-one -on -one personal level. I have been working in like a project management type of environment and it dawned on me that the customer was way too far from me. So we'd be working on this project and eventually this project is gonna help and facilitate something down the line for someone that was a little bit too far from like my visual. So what I learned is like that direct contact and really that um, results oriented, like I could talk to you and see how what I'm telling you or what I'm saying to you or how I'm helping you through something is making an impact. That for me was a big key on self-awareness that helped me determine where I would navigate next in my career. The other part of self-awareness is something that I talk about frequently and it's also um, a big part of my introductory product called Career Revive Studio. So click the link below if you wanna learn more information about kind of like how to navigate or what's that first step to figuring out what you wanna do with your career. And that is knowing your values. <clears throat> when I started to dig in and really understand what my personal values were and how to apply them to my career, that was a game changer. And so self-awareness is also about what are those things that you just nav naturally gravitate to? What are those things that are motivators for you that really kind of help drive your decision making and that just naturally make sense to you? And if you're in a career and you're out of alignment with your values, you're gonna feel kind of miserable day in and day out. You're gonna be unfulfilled. You're gonna kind of be wandering through your career like, how is this all making sense? What value, how am I helping anyone? Those types of questions are probably coming up for you. And I would bet to say that you're out of alignment with your values based on what career you're in right now. So I work with clients to say, hey, my values are over here, my career is over here, uh-uh, I gotta get these two lined up. And so another key for me around self-awareness was understanding my values. The other thing I would also mention is really understanding some of your, I guess I'm gonna call them tendencies. So I understand for myself kind of why I procrastinate on new things. New things are kind of exciting to me, but I'm someone that likes to have as much information to begin with so I know and I have clear direction on what I'm building or where, where the end result is going to land. And so for me, I tend to be a little bit more cautious and reserved when I start brand new things because I like to gather as much information as possible. And it means that I might be a little slow, kind of out of the gate, so to speak, on new things. But then once I have a clear objective and I know I'm an executor, and that is also part of the self-awareness that's like, hey, I understand where my strengths are and I understand where I have opportunities for growth. 
And so just wanted to bring this concept of self-awareness being a skill, um, wanting you to know that if you're working on professional development and you take an assessment or you have done like a Myers-Briggs personality type, all of those things within the workplace like discover your strengths, those are things that help you gain more self-awareness so that you can intake all these things and then help build a career that supports the things that you do really well, the things that you value. And if you're finding that you're a little bit <clears throat> you know, miserable in your career, you're not really understanding where to go in that next step, I would encourage you that self-awareness is one of those things that you would definitely want to start with and gaining more understanding around who you are. Um, the final thing I'll leave you with is an accountability partner is so helpful when you're starting on this journey. That might be a coach, it might be a spouse, it might be a friend, a manager that you have in trust. And those people are going to help you identify gaps or blind spots that you're not aware of. If you think about a conversation that you might have about your performance, you should be having conversations with your manager that say, hey, you're doing these things really well, and these are some opportunities for improvement or growth. And that side of the improvement or growth, most people kind of go, oh, like, okay, what's the flip side of the coin? But if you consider that more of a key on your self-awareness, then if you're working towards something in particular, that manager now knows, hey, this person is working on it and I'm gonna be able to watch out for things that they're doing to really help move them forward. That's like a step in the right direction or things that are, um, or things that might continually be getting in their way from reaching this goal. And so that could be various things. I'm not giving a specific example, but again, that self-awareness is definitely a skill and a key to understanding more about you and how you want to find an ultimate career where you can literally just be more yourself. But if you don't really know more about yourself, then how do you find that ultimate career? So start there with self-awareness. So I hope this information was helpful to you guys. I'm someone that is definitely always learning more about myself and how I can grow and be productive and also help others. So again, that Career Vibe Studio link is down in the description box. Check it out. I think it'll be really helpful for you guys if you're trying to figure out what's that next step in my career and how can I get going on that. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.